A hang glider soaring over Jockey's Ridge is a common sight on the Outer Banks. But hang gliders and paragliders, stunt kites and modern parachutes would not have been possible without the invention of the Regalo Wing by longtime Southern Shores resident Francis Regalo. Francis Regalo passed away in 2009, leaving the world a remarkable legacy. Born in 1912 in Sanger, California, Regalo fell in love with flying when a barnstormer flew over his house. He was seven years old at the time. That love of flight took him to Stanford University, where he was awarded one of the first aeronautical engineering degrees in the nation in 1935. He hoped to enlist as a pilot in World War II, but a childhood accident left him ineligible for military service. Even before World War II, Regalo was working on improving aircraft, and it was in 1940 that he applied for his first patent, Lateral Control for Aircraft. That patent was awarded in 1943. It was the first of 20 patents that have been awarded in his name. As one of the first aeronautical engineers in the country, as World War II swept the nation, the government recruited the top scientists to work at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or NACA, the predecessor to NASA. When he had graduated from Stanford in aeronautical engineering, he took the test to come to what was then NACA, National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics. That was his job. So there are a lot of things he did. Every time you fly on an airplane and you see those wing flaps go, I, every time I'm on it, I go, thank you, Daddy. Continuing to work for NACA after the war, he became fascinated with the idea that spars, struts, and structure were not necessary to control flight. He started fiddling around with the idea in the mid-40s when he realized that all the work he was doing in the wind tunnels indicated that airplanes were just getting heavier and faster and more complex and more expensive and harder to fly. And he thought it just wasn't fair that only millionaires in the military had access to aviation. He wanted something that would be inexpensive, practical, available to everybody. Uh, what he was really after was a flying car, which we never quite got, but his idea was, wouldn't it be great if you could drive to the outskirts of town and unfold a wing out of your trunk and fly away? And so that was the idea that led him to start experimenting with flexible wings. Working at home with his wife Gertrude, the idea of a flexible wing took shape as Gertrude sewed the concept into reality. The first wing was made from a flowered chintz kitchen curtain. In 1948, Francis and Gertrude Regalo filed for a patent for their flexible kite. The NACA became NASA in 1958, and Regalo was one of its top engineers. The agency explored the possibility of using the Regalo wing to control the re-entry flight of their spacecraft, allowing astronauts to glide capsules to controlled runway landings. Ultimately, NASA decided against using the Regalo wing but the potential of the Regalo wing was noticed by others and the idea of suspending a person from the bottom of a wing created the first hang gliders in the early 1960s. He first visited down here on the Outer Banks in the 30s. Of course, the Wright brothers have always been icons of his life. And so when they got ready to retire, they bought a cottage on the ocean in Southern Shores. He was one of the first volunteer fire persons at Southern Shores. And then when John Harris and Ralph Buxton started Kitty Hawk Kites, of course he got involved with them just as a friend and he started hang gliding down there and then the, the whole business grew. Francis Regalo had been using Jockey's Ridge as a natural wind laboratory as early as like the 1967 flying full-scale paragliders. And luckily enough, Rog lived long enough to see the fruition of this, the largest hang gliding school in the world, and more people are introduced to that first dream of his, the ability to fly. What we were trying to invent was a, a wing for aircraft that was uh, simple and uh, unbreakable, and you could fold it up and, and inexpensive, and uh, so that uh, more people could afford to fly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the way it's worked out. As far as I can tell, there's no place on the planet where there are more iterations of flexible wings seen regularly. You know, hang gliding on Jockey's Ridge, of course, is iconic, and we see hang gliders out there all the time. 
but one of the newest one is kiteboard kites. You know, this place is a mecca. Those are just more flexible wings. We have powered paragliders that fly around, powered hang gliders, and our modern stunt kites. All that stuff comes out of flexible wing technology. So this place and Francis Regalo's connection to it is pretty special. He enjoyed watching people having fun on something that anybody could afford to do that wanted to do it, and that was the reason. Francis Regalo, longtime Southern Shores resident, inventor, aeronautical engineer, and part of the team that put the United States into space, passed away in 2009, leaving a flight legacy that will never be forgotten.